Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the 60th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. And this one is probably going to be the most interesting tutorial in this course and that's because we are going to talk about functions and how amazing they can be for us. So I have my text editor here and I've saved this file in the home folder. It's called func and has the extension sh. And uh, when you have to create a function, it's actually pretty simple. You just type in its name. So the first one that I'm going to create in the script is uh, YouTube. And then you have to type in a pair of parents, right? And uh, once you've done that, on the next line, you type in the opening brace character. And then you can type in a bunch of command names, right? And I'm just going to use uh, echo to display a message on screen. Good morning. That's it. Short and simple. And then I'll type in the closing curly brace character, right? And the next function that I'm going to create in the script is bye bye, right? And uh, the approach is going to be the same, but the command that I'm going to put in its body is going to be cal. And uh, then you put the closing curly brace and I'll save this file. And we won't be executing this script in uh, the same way as we have been executing scripts in the previous tutorials. And there's a reason for that. The reason is that when you use sh to execute a script, the shell invokes a subshell and then it executes the script, right? And uh, the functions or variables that, you know, are declared by the script are not accessible from the shell that has invoked the subshell, right? So we won't be able to uh, access YouTube or bye bye, you know, from this shell if we use SS to execute the script. So if this is getting confusing for you, just, you know, take my word for it. SH, if you use it, then you won't be able to access these functions. So uh, there is fortunately a way around this problem. And we'll have to first make this script executable. And for that, I'm going to use chmod. So I'll type in chmod and then pull it up with a space. And then I'll type in the addition symbol. And then I'll type in the alphabet X. And X here represents uh, the permission to execute the script as a program. And then I'll type in the name of my file, which is font.sh. And when I press the enter key, my script is now an executable program, right? And then I can uh, execute the script by first typing in a dot, and then I'll give a space and then type in the name of my file. And the space between the dot or the period and the name of the file is pretty important, right? So please make a note of that. And uh, when I press the enter key, my functions have been, uh, you know, stored in the shell's memory. So in order to access them, I just have to type in their names. So if I type in YouTube and press the enter key, I see the message good morning. And when I type in bye bye and press the enter key, I see the system's calendar. So, you know, I find this pretty cool. And uh, it's because, you know, with functions, you can create commands, you know, and you can give them uh, your own names, right? You know, if you want to, have a command that has the name of your pet, then you can do that using functions, right? And uh, if you do not like the name of a particular command, for example, if you do not like cal uh, to view the calendar or date to view the system's date, then, you know, obviously you can use functions and create your own commands. And you can actually do pretty sophisticated things. I've chosen these uh, two really simple functions, you know, so that, uh, you know, I can get across the message to you how powerful functions can be and how easy uh, it is to create functions and use them, right? And if you want to remove a function from shell's memory, then that's pretty simple as well. All you have to do is type in unset and then give a space and type in the name of the function that you wish to remove. So if I want to remove YouTube and, you know, I can type in unset space YouTube and press the enter key. And now if I would try to, you know, uh, execute YouTube, I would see the message uh, command not found. So that's an error message, right? So I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one in which we will discuss how to execute one script uh, within another script. And uh, that one is probably going to be the last tutorial in this course. And uh, I'm really excited about it. So see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this one. And please subscribe to my channel.